Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. All right, so if this is your first time joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is not, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can keep track as to when I'm making new videos. All right, so let's get into this weekend vibe. Let's see what's going on with the fire signs. Um, Aries, Leo, and Sash, and this could be for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, or any other places that you may have, uh, any other fire places that you may have. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what's going on with y'all this weekend. What's going on with the fire signs? What's going on with the fire signs, universe? I'm hearing tacky. Someone has come in, come into your energy, your energetic space, and has taken money from you. I feel like you have win, you've won a, a won or a granted a, a lump sum of money, and I feel like somebody sweet talked you and took your money from you, just kind of blindsided you and took your money because the wealthy man, the wealthy man card is in reverse. So they were talking a good game. They were saying this could be masculine. This is a masculine energy, okay? They were talking a good game. Um, in regards to who they are, what they can do, but it was all a facade, all right? And I feel like recently you realized who this person really, like their real true intentions were, and they, they swindled you out some money, and then and they left you in a very hot, like a very upset state or angry state, all right? You're going to, I feel like you're going to take this person to court. So the courthouse is here and it's upright. You want to take this person to court, please go ahead and do that because the pathways are completely open. You have enough information, to, uh, text message and emails and um, uh, concrete e evidence and information where you're able to, to take them to court and you will win this case. All right. This is a message here. So that was the message because I feel like some of you guys thought that you may not have had enough information to inquire if you'll be able to go ahead and take them to court. But at, at, uh, Lord, I can't speak. But yes, you can and you will be vindicated in it. All right. Um, you're not poor, but it's just it's just a matter of the principle, okay? And I completely understand. You're not going to try to take me for my coin. You're not going to try to get me for my coin, so I completely understand where you're coming from. But you're not in poverty. You're doing really well for yourself, okay? Um, now, the thing is, this imprisonment card is, this can go two ways. So the imprisonment card, when you when you take them to court, they're not going to go to jail. I feel like they may have to pay like a, a restitution towards you or a reparation or some sort towards you, but I don't feel like they're going to get jail, okay? Um, and I also feel like the imprisonment as well, too, they will play a lot of mind games. It's in the negative, so they were trying to imprison you in a very negative way mentally, all right? You have been through a lot when it comes to your finances. You have been struggling for a very long time. I'm hearing years, three plus years when it comes to your finances. Okay, so this was a long sought out journey where you finally got yourself in a very decent place financially. And it, it struck a chord with you because you would never expect this person to kind of come in and did what they did to you, okay? Let's see what else is going on. No spirit. I'm also hearing Avant, don't take my love away. All right. So, like I said, they were just talking a good game. They were saying, saying all these sweet nothings, whispering all these sweet nothings in your ear, talking about some how they love you, how they can take care of you, how they can do all the stuff for you. But they a bum. A bum. They're not about anything. Yeah, I'm also. Oof, oof, child. So, justice is, is upright. So, you will get. Justice will prevail in your end or your part. All right. Make sure you stay in your power and don't allow anyone to sway you, especially mentally. It's very important because I feel like once people start to penetrate your mental space or your mind and that starts to go, everything else falls apart. So it's very important to make sure that you are protecting this. 
very important, okay? Because somebody can say something to me and I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm not usually, so if somebody come up to you and they, they said, hey, this is such and such, two things can happen. If you are not mentally protected, right? If you, if you don't have control of your mental space and um, someone can come, come in and infiltrate, and they can infiltrate by saying something very small and you're just kind of swayed by or persuaded very easily and you just kind of like take things at face value. On the other side, if somebody come and say something to you, you question it. You know what I mean? You question it and you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. You take it with a grain of salt and then you go ahead and do your own research, okay? And that helps you to not fall victim or fall into unnecessary situations. All right, so the tree card is here as well too. So I feel like they gave a side story in regards to their family dynamics. Like my mom left me, my dad left me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't grow up with my parents. My grandparents raised me. It was more like a side story because it was there to pull on your heartstrings because they know what kind of an individual that you are. So they knew exactly what they were doing. They really came in like a a, a thief in the night with a mask on, and they really, they really tried to, they really tried to get what they could out of it. I don't think that's cool. What else? I'm hearing demented. I'm also hearing crazy as well, too. So I feel like this person may have some mental instabilities that's going on, but they don't really show that side of them. All right. Um, they're very dark. The energy around them is very dark. So they may like dark humor. Um, they may say a lot of things that are very dark. Um, and it kind of makes you feel uneasy. All right. They're not going through a transformation at this moment. Okay. Again, they are they were only there to see what they can get up out of you or they can try to one up you with, okay? And that in regards to your energy and also your money as well, too. All right. Now, fire signs, you were very devoted to this individual, okay? You were um, open to falling in love with them. You were open to helping them, but you just did not like the way that they did you, okay? So instead of you rebelling towards them so this is the reverse you did not rebel so instead of you rebelling you're just going to take the you, you're going to take the more mature way you're going to um go to court and get your money in in the in the correct way you don't want to resolve result in violence or resolve to violence or put yourself or anyone's in harm way okay and i feel like that was after a long talk with yourself and some people around you because you really did not want to go to jail so you've taken the high route and you want to take them to court and you will prevail. All right. As you can see, two different decks. I pulled out the justice in the court, courthouse and it was both upright. So you will definitely prevail in that. All right. Um, you're definitely taking this as a lesson learned, a heavy lesson learned to not be so open as much to learn how to trust your guides, learn how to trust your intuition, learn how to trust your gut more. Okay, the braid card is here. So the braid that they, the braid that's in this hand, they're literally giving you your own braid. So you were creating uh, or weaving something, uh, weaving a beautiful connection with this individual, um, but they were again, they had sinister, sinister. Um, uh, ways of trying to come towards you to try to see what they can get out of you. So basically, even though this is your braid in your hand, uh, they basically gave it back to you, kind of like trying to choke you with your own braid. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, this mushrooms here represents fungus or it could be toxic because some mushrooms can be toxic. So just, they give me a toxic, a toxic vibe. Or mushrooms have their spores and they start to like fly all over. It could potentially be toxic depending on what type of mushroom it is. So I feel like this person was very, very, very toxic. But with you, uh, Aries, uh, Sag, and Leo, I feel like you... Um, you weren't protecting yourself, okay? This was in reverse. You're not protect. You did not protect yourself from this connection because you wanted to give this person the benefit of the doubt. And in this instance, giving them the benefit of the doubt, it kind of sets you back a little bit. All right. But like I said, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Yep. Um. So they wanted you to come to the edge, or they wanted to like make you fly off the handle or get crazy. But you know better and you know to be in control of your feelings and your emotions and you're not going to allow anyone to take you there or to take that power away from you or take your power away from you. All right. So you have it in your head um, a couple times in regards to if you should salvage this. 
or you should move forward, but you'll be moving forward with this because the regeneration card is in reverse. So you would not be recultivating a, a new a new connection or an existing connection with them. You decided to move forward and do the right thing. So you're going to be poised in all that you do when it comes to you going to court um, and justice will prevail in your, in your part. All right. So that's all I have for the uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sage for the weekend vibes. October 23rd and 24th. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also, if you would like to uh, play, do a... Uh, uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> if you would like to schedule a reading with me, all that information will be in the description below. And until next time, guys, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. See ya.